Everybody dance, okay? My umbrella under my bed Having a dream Heap of laundry Words unsaid like Something I have seen Cup and saucer Bengal spice stain The sounds of shades of green Another world much clean Please slate is a through way Bright side of a Wasn't so gray. Truth becomes the scourge white sky. I cleared the table, but not my mind left the dishes in the air. The sounds of shades of you have the nature in there and there's is there tell us about the writing of this song or where it came from oh my gosh all right so let me see if i can be succinct yeah so you know uh there were uh, I, I after after the event of george leaving the planet um, I was living alone in my house in Katona and kind of crashing around, figuring out what I was going to be doing. And of course, all my loving friends checked in on me, mm -hmm. which was just beautiful. And Turner and Reed came up numerous times from, um, they live, they live below Philadelphia, 
they're like down in Bryn Athen. And they would drive up, blast up the New Jersey Turnpike and come to my house with kale and we'd all cook oh. and massage kale, you know, and then uh, sit around and, and work on this song. We had about three visits and literally, uh, <clears throat> You know, it started with uh, Turner Adams is a is, is a is a beautiful guitarist and singer. Oh, he is. Yes. And uh, you know, basically, and Reed McCardell is just an unbelievable singer and lyricist and guitar player as well. And basically, and they're very dear friends. Basically, Reed <laughs> looked at at Turner and said, "All right, I want something James Taylor, okay?" And he just sort of started playing this thing, and um, we just pulled the lyric down from the sky you know um it's it's but it's you know it was it was it really it's it, it's a, it's a song about silver linings it's a song about you know make, making lemonade out of lemons it's a song about you know looking on the bright side it's a song about knowing that the rain helps the garden grow it's a, it's it's so it's just it's a little poetic piece that has a fantastic melodic, um, has wonderful melodic motifs. And I have to say that it was so fun working with Reed because he is really experimental and we had a lot of fun experimenting with the different melodic ideas. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that or, or comment on that or ask you about the, you know, the, how the sounds you know, uh, the sounds and the bright side are the same note and you're reaching up for those and then you're coming down and then you're reaching up again. It's the same thing that happened in the other song too. But so was that a conscious effort when you're doing, when you're, you know, do you, is it that you have a chord and a melody oh, or a chord or a progression and then you're writing the melody to that? Or is the, is the melody something that is coming f separate than any of those chords? maybe that Turner was coming up with or? Well, I think that the, I think that Turner had pretty much established pretty much a groove with chord changes. Uh -huh. and the, melo the melody, the, all those melodic ideas, that was me and Reed being really silly and experimental. I mean, the first, you know, uh, my umbrella under ha having a dream. I mean, you should hear him do it. He does it in a lower key and, you know, just kind of really having fun, you know, not, you know, just working with flexibility, you know, just having fun with it. Not like trying to do a hot R&B melisma or anything, right. but just kind of having fun with, with tinkering with the melody, you know, and it can be simplified. Um, yeah. So, and, and also, uh, you know, where it goes clean slate, that, that clean, where we, there's sort of that do, do in the, in the chorus where it breaks into a really different, it has a very different motif there with the way it changes with the timing and stuff there. That is signature Reed McCardell. Ha, ha. Interesting. Yeah. Because that was also that portion of it that a clean slate is a throughway. I just love that line. Yeah, clean slate. Throughway. Is that what it is? A throughway. That's through the word. Way. Yeah. Through. Yeah. Which is a way through. Right. Right. A clean slate is is a way through. Is what that means. Right. Right. Oh, I love that. That was just fabulous. Yeah. And um, the other thing that that I also noticed, wondering if it is, you know, a conscious thing or it just happened, was that. There was a lot of, there was musical space after the lines, or it could be yeah. how you spoke them, but it gave me a chance to yeah. kind of take in the meaning of the words, you yeah. know? I, I have a lot of interest in space. Mm. And um, yeah, yeah I, we all liked that. You know, pause, have a pause, you know, mm -hmm. try to figure out what these people are trying to say mm -hmm. and take it in. So yes, there is some wonderful space yeah and that's yeah. a big part of i think the power the you know the impact of the song you because know, because when you're writing a song you you know you wonder about that in a, in a sense <laughs> how much do you need to fill up the space and you know to make it interesting or something but it just doesn't need it you, you just it really allowed us to kind of hear hear the song uh fully i believe 
right? I, I heard um, a version of that uh, online, um, Turner, Turner did, with his, with his amazing guitar playing. So that, that is just a brilliant song. Oh, it's Beautiful. amazing. And it's, it is, yeah, it's, I, wonderful. I want to find that. That's online. It I mean, is online. It is online. And the other, the other thing that I thought was interesting was Dishes in the Air. Right. Tell me where that, what, where that came from. Well, it's almost like, I mean, you know, the, okay. Um, yesterday wasn't so gray. So the second verse is, so the first verse, it, it's all rain stuff. My umbrella under my bed, having a dream. Right. Heap of laundry words unsaid. So just life, regular life. Like something I've seen, cup and saucer, Bengal spice stained, my favorite tea, Bengal mm -hmm. spice. Mm -hmm. um, then the second verse, yesterday wasn't so gray, so here's the reflection. Truth becomes the scorch white sky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cleared the table, but not my mind. So I'm trying to, so, you know, it's this whole idea of um, clean slate, moving on. Mm -hmm. uh you know may, you know the, the 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 bright the bright side looking on the bright side even though it's hard to look on the bright side it's mm -hmm. not easy um left the dishes in the air i didn't do the dishes cool that's what i thought it was yeah i love that i love that you did it said it that way and the listing who needs to do the, dish? who needs to do the dishes right. who needs to do the dishes and the way that you listed those things it wasn't just a lit, you know, you're, like you're kind of listing, you know, the tea and the, the cups, you know, all of, or the tea and the other things you're listing. But it didn't feel like a list. It felt like, um, uh, you know, sometimes when people are, are, uh, are setting a scene in a room, they're just kind of saying there's the chair and there's that. And it's important because we need to be able to visualize your song. But it didn't feel like, it was, and sometimes that feels like a list, but that didn't feel like a list. It was each, I felt like each thing was important, you know, and it, it all added to it. I don't, so I don't know if you have anything to say about that, but. No, it, thank you for saying yeah. that. I mean, I think that, frankly, you know, it, we wanted to say it in a poetic, fun way. Right. You know, we spent time with that and, and you know, kind of trying to make it be a little quirky. You know, I mean, that was a, that was we thought about that yeah. rather than it being, you know, plainly understood, you right. know, there's hidden. And, you know, for some people, that's a drag. You know, it's like, what the heck is this about? Mm. Um, and, you know, and then the little bridge part is really that was really about us in the moment. The day that I met you mm. was the day. I swore this could never happen again. Mm. This be and you know what's so interesting when I do, to even even us doing it right now, what happens at that point in the song is that I really feel, uh, I feel so connected to the listeners mm. because I'm saying to them, here we are in this moment. This is that moment. And it will never happen again, this mm -hmm. moment. Yeah. And we feel that, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that's wonderful. Someone else is, was also agreeing with the imagery of suspension of time, of the dishes of space. Right. That's, that's that, was, that was Lynn. Lynn is talking about that. And listening can also be a nice way to ground yourself, right? Listening in the song, bringing you to the present moment, for sure. Thank you, Roya. So beautiful, beautiful song. What is your next song? What would you like to sing? Well, wow. Okay. Um, how about, why don't we do the title track to this, this pandemic record that I put together? Um, that. Red you Maple have, Tree. New, okay. So you have a new album. I have a new album. And here it is. Ah, great. Do you have a copy of this, Tina Ross? I don't. Would you, would tonight, would you please send me your um, address so that I can send you? Okay. I will. Absolutely. So this is Red Maple Tree, and this is a beautiful drawing that my friend Deb O'Connor did 
there's two maple trees right outside this beautiful place where I am living up in East Meredith, New York, um, on top of a mountain uh, with my partner, Danny. And um, these red maple trees are uh, very powerful. I have to say, you know, I mean, here we are back. I, I'm, I've been writing about trees my whole life. <laughs> You know, I, I swear, I have been. Um, uh, trees are key. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and this is just an homage um, to the summer. And um, just a couple of little snapshots. Um, of this whole landscape and feeling up here. Red maple tree. On a Monday after breakfast in a Catskill field at the end of May as the wind makes dandelion wishes Bumblebee drinks from the buttercup I sit still here your red maple tree listening for the sweet song she sings listening for her summer song on a wednesday close to midnight under a sky lit up with bright July stars Owl hooted, coyote cry Blinking fireflies dance on by I sit still here beneath your red maple tree Listening for the sweet song she sings, listening for her summer song, listening for her summer song. Now it's Sunday. Almost supper. Red winged blackbird in the slant of August light. Bowing blossom, white hydrangea. Crickets chirp their evening refrain. I sit still here beneath your red maple tree listening for the sweet song she sings listening for her summer song listening for her summer song listening for her summer song So long summer. <laughs> oh, beautiful. So long summer. Wow. Such a beautiful you know, scenery. I could see it all, you know, starting in one place and then the, you know, the, the sky and the, it's just, you really have a way of capturing kind of the immediacy of the moment, right? And what that does, at least for me, is it, and, and do you think about this when you're doing it, is that the lyrics become as immediate as the feeling that you're trying to, you know, to communicate. And that's hard to do. 
you know, because the, because the feeling and the music is immediate. I mean, we don't have to think about it, but you seem to be able to have, take the lyrics that match that immediacy so that it kind of just flows right in together. It's very interesting. I felt that in during this. Wow. You, you, well, you, I, you know, I literally just sat under the tree with my ukulele and I was trying to work on some different chords. I don't even know what the chords are. I just made up chords. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, it was really, I mean, I consider myself an emotional observer mostly when it comes to writing songs. And also, you know, I, um, all these songs about nature, they're all related. Like this song in, for me, like the way that I, in my beingness, in my, um, just, just the way that I, this is in, this is in sort of the bucket of nature songs, but it's related to Cool Morning. It's like, Cool Morning is this song's great, great grandmother, mm. you know? <laughs> it's like the family of themes. Like mm. I, I really feel like my whole life, you know, after, you know, I've been writing songs since I was a kid. I started imitating my brother, who's a songwriter, when I was a kid. And it seems like, I kind of write maybe four or five different kinds of songs. Hmm. And they're these lineages, you know. And and on that each song kind of fits in in line with these lineages and they're related to each other. And it's like I can feel that creative space in me. Does that make sense to you? Yes, and is it a theme or is it a feeling that creates the lineages. What is it that's that's defining a lineage? Is it a theme? Is it a feeling? Is it a? It's very interesting. Wow. I, I think I think probably it's both. Uh huh. But it's but you know because I mean, uh, broad stroke. You know, uh, songs about my family, about my children, uh, about my grandchildren, like like people songs. You know, um, and then there's. You know the whole. I, I yes, it's 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 a, a theme and an emotion that goes mm -hmm. along with it. A feeling, a feeling. Mm -hmm. But the being an emotional observer is really at the at the at the you know it's the crux of the biscuit for most of the songs. Mm. Yeah. And so it starts from that. Do you know consciously? You know, in your process, you know, people have different things. Some people start with a title or a word or a phrase. Some people start with a feeling. Some people start with the music. What mostly enables you to get into, you know, the space of writing? So this song, I knew nothing. Hmm. And it started with the music, just sitting underneath the tree. And, 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 and I do that because, okay, so with a lot of my co-writing, I work with a lot of co-writers. So Stephen Murphy has been a co-writer of mine for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. And the way that we've always written songs is that he sends me um, recordings of him playing the guitar with grooves and chord changes. And I listen to it and I listen to what the song is. I don't even know. I'll just walk around, you know, do something else while I'm listening to it. And I let it tell me. And I might change, you know, I'll, I might change the form or change a few, few chords or whatever, but I can tell what the song is. So it, it, with me, it usually starts with music for me. Yeah. So with this song, I literally was just there and working on these chord changes and coming up with a bunch of new ones that were hard for me. And Glenn even gave me a good chord he gave me that seventh chord or whatever that is that's in there that I'd never I could I mean I don't even know what I'm doing I use instruments to write songs I'm not I'm not a great um, instrumentalist not this time around maybe in my next life okay you know singing is primary and I'm 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 I've got the heart and soul of a writer mm -hmm. so that's how it started so I allowed myself to be led I simply allowed myself to be led. Mm. Mm. I didn't have to know. And then I fixed it. Right. You know, I tinkered with it and I, it just sort of was like a big weird blob. And then I tinkered with it for, it didn't take long actually. Because also, you know, it, the form is very simple. It's repetitive. It's not, it's not, it's, 
it's it's a wee little song. It's a wee little song. <laughs> Beautiful. Speaking of we, who is the you? Your tree. Uh, who is who is oh, the you? Uh, Who's the your Danny. Oh, okay. I was wondering because it wasn't in the song, but I thought, oh, this is sweet. Who is your? You know, right? <gasps> yeah. Crazy. Well, that's who it is for me. Uh huh. That's okay. who it is for me. Beautiful. Your red maple tree. Right. So I could have said this red maple tree. I know. Tree. No, but it's your red maple tree. Right. And that felt to me like it was intentional as well. And it changed what one word. That right. one word right. changed, softened it and changed the whole feeling. One word can change a song. Right. Well, well, you know, it's interesting. So, yes. Well, the beautiful invitation to be up here with these red maple trees and mm -hmm. Danny is a, is a powerful, you know, very inspirational to me. I was deeply inspired. You were. Yeah. Oh. And I imagine, I imagine, because I, I like to imagine things, I'm into imagination, that the trees are, the two red maple trees are, you know, totally, you know, they get the co-write. Oh, yeah. They had a lot to do with that song. Wow. Yeah, totally. I love that. It was a collaboration for you. It was a total collaboration. collaboration That's the way amazing. I roll, Tina. We have yes, to write a song yes. together. Yeah, okay. I love that. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. And the other thing when you're saying about the picking of the, that you chose a, a, a ukulele, yeah. it felt like the tree was moving. I have heard this recording. And is it a mandolin wow. or a ukulele? The it recording is, on the record is outstanding. That's it is John, outstanding. Is that a mandolin? Kirk, he's playing a mandolin and, mandolin. An, and an octave mandolin. Hmm. And oh it's incessant, God. but it's amazing. Oh, my God. And so it felt like the tree moving. Like I felt like me with the way it was. And then I felt it w with, with the ukulele, too. But the first time I heard that song was with that and so the marriage of even the picking and the choice and the there was kind of like a pit I, th I thought at one point that it was violin doing some pizzicato yes there's a there is a there's a fiddle in there too there's a fiddle but so i wasn't sure if it was a man anyway so that married that was just nature it was just so beautiful so i felt it with with glenn playing it too that all of these things come together to make us feel a song it's so amazing <laughs> anyway i love it i love it I, I love you and your enthusiasm it is it's just please it's, come over for dinner afterwards <laughs> i love it i love it it's, it's chicken just, you you uh, you you really um you know really know how to create a song and that's what this is this is what this is about and that's why i asked you to come it's just wonderful. Oh, what would be your next song? I do want to. I do want to say one thing. Um, I gotta have something to oh, drink. Wait, I just had a. What is it? Oh, oh. Okay, I'll talk about the next show. Okay, I just got a little note, but I'll talk about the next show. So go ahead. What is your next song? Oh, wait a minute. Are you going to talk about the next show? No, I'm not. I don't want to stop. I don't want to. Okay. Interrupt you. Well, I, I think Lenny and I should do a song that had a very different, you know. <laughs> birthing process okay perfect what is that um, but this song is this song's very dear to me i mean they you know I, I, um i'm gonna stand up <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> uh this song is called the keeper mm. um and uh well, we'll, we'll uh, what, okay, what, what do I want to tell you about this song? So this song um, investigates the energy. I mean, people write about this, and I, I had never, I'd never really taken a stab at it. And um, <clears throat> I, my father, uh, my father died at the age of 63. And... Um, you know, I was, he was young, I was young, and um, I miss him. He died in 1988, 
and uh, I think of him often. He's, he's, he was a beautiful writer. <clears throat> and, um, you know, as I was, you know, turning 60 and in my 60s and thinking about my life, I was missing him and not, and just really feeling, uh, what's, you know, dissatisfied and puzzled by what happened to all of the energy that he and I had between us in our relationship. Um, you know, all the, all the things that he and I shared together now that he's no longer here, what, what happens to that energy? Yes, I have it inside of me, but he, I can't say, Dad, remember when we did this and remember when we did that? And so I, I was wanted to investigate that, you know, kind of along the lines of um, if a tree falls in the forest <clears throat> and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a sound? That, I was sort of stuck on that. And I, um, it took, this song took a long time to uh, be right. And it was written initially on the piano with a gospel feel. Um, and then um, when uh, in doing Red Maple Tree, um, I actually started playing this song on the banjo, believe it or not. Uh, and tonight, Glenn and I are going to do this song for you uh, on the guitar. And I'll talk more with you about The Keeper. Um, one of my dearest friends and most wonderful co-writers, Kate Campbell, had a hand in writing this song. So here's The Keeper. all there is my father said with much regret the day he passed I wonder if he meant live each day as if it were my last first the sadness then the beauty here Not abandoned Only letting go All that is and was And ever be A story big enough Can hold where Oh, 
the story goes on and on and on. Oh, the story is the keeper and the song, and the story. something you wanted to say about it did you before well, so we can talk more about it but you know so i i loved the, the you know the story itself but also that you put the child in there right. so it's the child and the the wisdom were side by side in the story i love that yeah, yeah. it's really beautiful yeah and you know when you the immediacy of hanging laundry on the line uh and the, and the, and asking the questions, you know, as children, I mean, yeah, the the because it is, it was just, yeah, it was very special. Thanks to Kate Campbell. Mm. I mean, literally, this song took me three years. Mm. Um, so if I think about a song like, I mean, they're just all so different. Oh, I know what I wanted to say earlier. You know, songs to me, it's I don't, they're dear to me. I don't, they they're not dear like children. Or grandchildren or something like that mm. they're more like puppies mm. you know but I do they're more like puppies and kittens you know they're mm. these wonderful little they have lives of their own and they're individuals and they come in different ways and they um, but they are living things mm -hmm. these songs are living things mm -hmm. um, and they're all very different and this was a very this this song took three years it took years for me to get it right mm. and i couldn't have done it without kate mm. so you started the song first and then um we were yeah we worked on this were you yeah. worked on it together or or you started it first and she helped you finish it yeah we talked about it for you know we talked about it for hours mm. and uh you know i i tried i had a couple of false starts with the um ukulele working you know trying to work trying to figure out you know and then we then she br helped me bring it to the piano but i knew what the words you know this is all there is my father said mm -hmm. with much regret the day he passed because my father was was uh, agnostic um and um and and i was very sad mm -hmm. because i felt like you know uh, you know and and and, and i when he said that you know, this is all there is, and I'm, I'm, you know, goodbye. Mm. I, I was, I felt mm. very sad. But then it was, you know, I wonder if he meant when he said, "This is all there is." That what, and he did, he did say to me, "I want you to live every day like it's your last day." Right. What, what a wonderful message to get from him, and certainly as he's leaving, and yeah. to see it that way, it's just beautiful. The other thing I wanted to say, I had written about the, oh gosh, I have so many notes here. I'm writing everything as I'm going. But I just, I just felt that um, it is, there, there was also that same thing that you do using the same note. Um, <laughs> and the song goes on and on. I love that. I think I'm going to. Oh, the, that. that is, um, know, that's and, our Hey Jude. That is a, that is a, you know, post chorus. Mm -hmm. it's, or it's like a post, it's like a post out. It's a whole separate, it's like, you know, na, 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 na. Right, right. That's it. my na, 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 na. Yeah. <laughs> Do na, na. And also use that same, you know, use of, uh, you know, reaching a particular note and then going back to it again. I don't know. It's just, for me, that really, I feel like it's, ex it, you know, 
I'm resting in it because it's there again. I don't know. I can't explain it, but I love that. And I love that kind of device or so. Yeah, it is a device. It is in a way. I mean, I'm not saying it's, you know, yeah. mechanical, but it is. There are so many that you seem to use just naturally also but you have so much experience well it's the nature of the of that chord that great chord that mm -hmm. what, is, what is that chord well uh okay ba, and then the, key, the, the, you know, the sto story is the key that's you know what that's called that's a money note yeah Absolutely. That's the big bucks money note, but you know, where is it? I'm waiting for it. <laughs> and then, and then he goes on and on and on. So it really works. Story out. is the keeper and the song and the story, it goes on and on and on. Story is the key. It's that's a money note. I love that. It's great. It's, it's a cool chord. It's it's a way cool chord. I don't know the name of it because I'm you know I'm I'm a musical intuitive. Let's just get that straight, okay? Well, it's one, and I know that I, I and many people I know make up chords on the guitar. Um, yeah. You know, you might have the ability to play it or whatever instrument, but to be in the moment and capture the sounds that we want to hear, we hear something in our head and we produce it. It's yeah. pretty it's so free. It's like, I'm so glad to hear you do it too, because sometimes, you know, I wonder, should I be doing this? So that's really cool. What I want to say is I have a few more minutes and, and I, and I do, uh, we are going to have, um, Sloan sing us a song out, but I just want to thank everyone for coming. We had indeed, in the six people here and I'm just so happy that we had Sloan and Sloan joined us. I want you to know that this is coming to you from the Folk Project that puts over a hundred events online and in North Jersey every year to audiences and musicians. Please go to folkproject.org, O-R-G dot org. Um, it's a volunteer nonprofit community organization, organization community of music lovers and music makers and you can join and support for not very much i think it's 20 dollars a year and it is amazing and please my email at the folk project is tina.ross at folkproject.org tina.ross at folkproject.org if there's someone you want to hear or you have comments about the show this is our second and i'm so happy to say that next month we have cliff eberhardt on um a second Thursday, it's always the second Thursday. So the second Thursday, December 9th. And the month after that, we have uh, Christine Lavin. And then the month after, so that's January. And in February, we have Louise Mossery. Yay. So we have some amazing songwriters who write from uh, the universe. I don't know, every time I hear their, their music. And they're so different. And that's the wonderful thing about songwriting is that as long as we're authentic and we come from a place and we're listening deeply, it doesn't matter even what we write about or um, you know what the topic is. If we're connected, then we'll connect. And I think that's why we write songs. If yeah, I think that's I love why that, we, Tina. I love that. That's why we do it. And um, so, thank you so much. Uh, for joining us. This was a very special. Aww. I mean, it was so special. Thank you, Glenn, and, and to, for joining as well. That was really beautiful. Really? And we are going to, um, Sloan is going to play us out. So after she finishes her song, we are going to, uh, we're not going to, we won't see you again, I'm just telling you. So she's just going to serenade us out. I thank everyone for coming and um, well, take us out. Thank you, Tina. Thank you, everybody at the Folk Project. Thank you, dearest Glenn Rothell. Here's a song that Glenn and I wrote with two friends of ours, Sue Riley and Karen Drucker. It's a sing-along song, so please join us on the chorus. We'll start with it. It's called Help Each Other Through. I just start right in singing? Okay. There we go. All we can do is be there for each 
each other in these times when we don't know what to do. All we can do is be there for each other and help each other through. Twists and turns, unexpected, day by day, moving on. I don't have all the answers, come what may, right or wrong. All we can do is be there for each other in these times when we don't know what to do. the shore time moves faster every day ebb and flow no control all that's left to say all we can do is be there for each other Thanks, everybody.